Acts 19. Well, Acts 19 tells us about the response to the preaching of the gospel in Ephesus. People believed and they were baptised. But then the sons of Sceva were judged and punished for, for blaspheming the name of Jesus. This incident seems to have encouraged the believers to rise up to a higher level of commitment. We read in verses 18 to 20, Many also of those that had believed came, confessing and declaring their sinful deeds, and not a few of those that practised magical arts brought their books together and burned them in the sight of all. They counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. So the word of the Lord spread widely and grew in power. It was those who had already believed who came and burnt their magic books. That's the point I want to make. Those books were the equivalent of like horoscopes thought to influence the lives of people. Clearly, those who had believed in Jesus were still retaining their old idols, clinging on to their old belief systems in the hope that these magic books might still make them wealthy. But then they rose up to a higher level of commitment. And they burnt their books that were worth 50,000 pieces of silver. That's a figure roughly equivalent dynamically to, to several million let's say, dollars, euros, pounds today. So you see that there are levels of conversion. Remember how Jesus said to Peter, when you are converted, strengthen your brothers. And Peter might well have replied, but I'm already converted, Lord. And that was true, but there's such a thing as converting the converted, of rising up another step in the ladder. And I think that's what happened here amongst these Christians in Ephesus. Now, we too can be baptised and profess faith in Jesus, but still keep the old ways, the old hopes, the ways of thinking. But the Lord can work in our lives to take us up to a higher level where we just throw all that away and trust in him alone. They could surely have sold those magic books and, and used the money, but they realised God doesn't need money. So they burnt those books. They didn't want others to put their hope in those books but in the, in the name of Jesus alone. And that's really all a great, great lesson for each of us today.